and then try to follow it into the net. Those of you that can volley and can move. <laughs> uh, and it gives you time to get in. Have a look where the pros are standing. When they're at the net and also when their partner is receiving. And they're going to play four, four quick games and then we'll all get out and play. As soon as they warm up, they'll get started. You have the, ho to the whole idea of the return is to get into the point. It's not the finish of the point. <coughs> and if you can think about when any anybody serving to you, you have a, your partners at, at the net, you've got to think about what shots you can play off that return that's going to protect your partner. If you feel you can't keep it low enough, uh, then you might have to throw up a lob. And if it's a lousy lob, it gives your partner a little chance to get out of that uh, vulnerable position at the net. As soon as you guys are ready. It's still filming, and eh, now. But it's, I'm I am filming filmed, you. I, film. I, have yeah, not, I have to do nothing. Okay. I didn't ask for it, but you don't have to do anything. Uh, okay. It's going on now. Yes. Andreas, put open your jacket because I saw the ladies open. How exactly. Open were the ladies, I did it all for you. <laughs> the sissy I am, I put on the ladies' open thing. You know, they never will allow me in the men's open. <laughs> Well, he no. is the most famous tenniser you can uh, there. Where are you? meet, yeah. but you have to come to Kstaat to, to, uh, to meet him and to, to get acquainted with him. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Round <laughs> three, two, one. It's recording. Don't put your finger on the microphone. You're back here. I'm back here. And you're going to put all your, all, all your expressions that you have about that. Crap and right. move your feet and, and all that. Okay, try and get your racket back by the time the ball passes the net, right? Yeah. Put your feet around a bit. Uh. Don't front so much. Uh. Actually, it is that bad. It should be worse. Oh. How long have you been off the circuit? <laughs> oh, about two and a half years. I can see it there, but it's... But I was... I was using... <laughs> Ramish. Ramish. Oh. Maybe Toby. Maybe. He's young, but uh, <coughs> this particular player came from Australia. <coughs> the only other one who's probably old enough to know it would be uh, Howard, but I don't know if he knows a lot of the old Australian players. <laughs> His name was Dinny Pale. No, 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 no. I'm glad I don't know him. <laughs> and he had great ground strokes, and when he, uh, and he played against Bobby Riggs, Kramer, all that group, uh, and when he taught kids to play, he taught them to lob first. Which was a great way of teaching ground strokes. Because you can't lob if you stop the racket. And you can't lob if the racket's going across over here. You have to let the head of the racket carry the ball over in the general direction you want it to go. So he produced a lot of good players excellent ground strokes simply because he got them to turn side on, get the racket down under the ball and touch the ball and let the head lift the ball over. And then for the ground strokes all he had to do, all you had to do then instead of going up with the head of the racket, go out through the hitting area, through this area a long way before you go up. And then the, it just taught everybody to keep the racket going. Because all you have to do on your ground strokes is simple. It's one side of your body to the other and you barely touch the ball during the process. And someone hits a hard ball to you, then everything's a little bit shorter. You can't try and add too much to it. 
slow a ball, you add a little bit more. So it's good to go out and try and learn how to lob because it teaches you to carry the ball on the racket. So every ball, these, they, you should be able to get every lob this far from the baseline. Now I'm going to hit this one on the line. Anyone wants to make a bet? Yeah. All right, a thousand bucks, anyone? <laughs> I'll show you how, how if you were to bet, you're going to lose. Watch this, this is right on the line. Oh, How short? How short was it? Okay, I'll add a little bit more to it. Okay. How about another one? Okay, cut off off a bit. Long? Do you want to bet? <laughs> Something. Younger man would have gotten it. Okay, this one's on the line. Ready? Yep. Oh, yes. Now it's too long. Well, this one's all right. That one's going to be good. Now it's a bit short. Okay, this one should be it. Oh, yes, that's it. Long? Beautiful effort. Okay, I may have had too much lunch. <laughs> On the backhand, see if I'm a bit better on the backhand. No, it's no good either. There we go. Right? That's it. So if you do that a little bit, it helps you. So if you're getting anywhere near the line like that, that's great. How was that again with the grip in the morning? I forgot it. Uh, there's something with the grip in the morning? Yeah, but I don't want it on Facebook. All right, and uh, licking the promise? I didn't hear licking the promise much this no, week. No, I haven't. I've gone off the lick. What is the licking the promise? A quick uh, lick is a quick shower, and the promise is to do a bit better next time. Right, and what is that again for? How 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 do you get me into the qualifying of Wimbledon? And the qualifying of Wimbledon, I have to. Is it uh, Wimbledon? Wimbledon. All right. Wimbledon. Uh, to get you into the qual, I'd have to pay off a lot of people. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 High ball. Take the racket back high rather than low and over. You can drink a little. Are we? Are you all set? Well, first of all, first of all, that's for you, Andrea. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. And then now, Sylvain is going to give you some uh, few details. Okay. Uh, Mr. Andrea Maffei is the first sommelier, and uh, Sylvain is his assistant. So tonight, uh, he's going to take care of, uh, of the few explanation of the wine cellar. Yeah, there's a bottle. Yeah. One million franc, and nobody saw Is it. The Chateau Yukin? Yes, 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 yes. We're going up. We'll uh, love it. We're meal. going up. Italia, Italia, la ira, la desa, no le va, no le sorri, no le va, le do, ira, vittorio, il danno lo, le dam, tu tum, tu tum, prum, 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 Italian, the Italian, the Italian, the the Blijf ik tot in den dood. De prinsen van oranje, orange, heb ik altijd geëerd. De king of Spain, de koning van Spanje, 
heb ik altijd geëerd. En nu de National Anthem of Tibet. Yes. Just to... And the Tibet? Tibet? Please, please. Oh, please, try. I think it's wonderful. Oh my god, oh, it's called Oh my god. Because tomorrow, no, it's called Oh my god. She said, Oh my god. National, okay, let's go. I renounce my citizenship. One, two, three, go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? And broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous light. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, <laughs> that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free, free and the home of the brave. <laughs> oh my. I did not do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. Maria, Maria. Oh my God. Oh, yogurt. Oh my God. I, I, I tell you something. Yes, yes. Uh, one time I am going here in uh, yes. the eleven. Yes, yes. And one guest said to me. Yes. Bring me, bring me a, a, a cake. Yes. I brought a cake. Yes. With a cover. Yes. Huh? It, voila, Monsieur. The cake was not there. <laughs> and I showed up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one.